All right, we just agreed, and the BO5 starts now. So, okay, well, normally we wouldn't have, like, a, a warm-up match, but in this case, now you have, like, a clear idea of what's going on now that we did play that one game. So, the 7 is really resource-heavy, and so far, his advantage state is actually really good, but it seems kind of habitual because he seemed way too ready for a dodge up after hitting me on cannon just once. Uh, in this case, against Spear, I would not really go Demon Island. And Miami Dump's a little too small, but I wouldn't sacrifice the cannon gimp either. Or I would, I would kind of sacrifice it and just go for Demon because it's like way less threatening than like a possible cannon gimp. Because the sides on Miami Dome and Western Air Temple are still kind of short, so this is the, probably the best way to go. Three, two, one, brawl! Alright, I, land, I landed with an aerial and I missed. So now I kind of just have a... Now I just know what's going on. Alright, good extension. Like mentioned before, he does tend to use a lot of resources before he lands. It's really unhealthy for him. But, who am I to say? He absolutely mowed me that first stock. But I can't really let those opportunities light up again. That's clear. Whew. I can't even believe I have to look out for something like that now. I actually did completely forget about it. Let's play bow. I think playing on a flat map just calls to play bow. That's good punish actually. Ah oh, man, okay, let's find a way to clear this up. With, against two dex characters, I have to remember that the main rule is to always, like, just time your punishes as carefully as possible. You have way more time than you normally would. Oh man, I did not mean to go for a dash. But that goes first game, and I'm down 0-1. So, right now, it's just a matter of perfecting my advantage state and also my neutral, because I'm not really getting that many interactions in right now. That's like what's kind of making me falter against this guy at the moment. I could have picked a better map. Actually, I didn't even think about the maps in that moment. I just went to like the big, the main three that I always play. Three, 
two, one, brawl! <laughs> Let's see if we can clear him up real quick. I'm playing sword, so I should be in the. I should be good for that. Okay. And the job is kind of done for us. And for cannon players, their main weakness is to just be light and disadvantage as well. But their aerials are just like always something that like gives like so much shock value. In other words, they're just really unexpected half the time because they cover so much. Ooh. A little shaky, and I almost really let up. <laughs> like, I almost... I just almost, like, threw... That's fine. Man, they cover so high. And that there is a stacked punish. It's a little, a little wonky, but it's fine. Heavy punish. Alright, and that should do it. That's really, it, all of that was kind of sloppy on his end, but... I think we have a better idea of what's going on. The advantage state, or actually playing against against seven, is still a very wonky for me. But his cannon is like the main problem, I'd argue. We're back in his advantage, but he has a way harder time with platforms. When you're playing spear and cannon, you kind of want to stay like on the ground. As long as you have a flat map, in most cases, you have more opportunities. But if I get extra leverage, then I'm kind of chilling, especially with sword. All right, and there we go. Not a bad game three start. Now I think Sword does snag the dub into Spear, so we'll just play that. Alright, I have to be careful. I'm kind of giving this guy a little bit too many opportunities. Playing these slow usually tends to help me a lot. Because any it really is just my game. Oh god, I only have like a dodge and a jump to go. <sighs> he did push me over. I wish I went for a nair like early or something to cover myself. Alright. And that should do it. Okay. Let's see if we can force if we can force juggles. There we go. That's one. Oh. He went really far off for stairs, so maybe we could we could have some extra respect and just have him back up again. Alright, gotta be careful. Oh, I did burn my dodge just now. Ledge cancel kinda saved me though.
Oof. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. <laughs> ah. That is fair. I, I should have. I, I should have just done anything but used too many jumps. Is that it? No, it's not. And there we go. Uh, a little bit of cheese, but <laughs> bro, there's cheese in every character. I'm sure I'll be fine. We're in game four at this point, and I have to be aware of every new interaction that Woodkid is about to throw up. In a best of three, you usually have like another opportunity to miss, but in BO5, it's like <sighs> sealing the game is just overall very hard. So let's see here. I mean, Miami Dome was almost good, but the ledges kind of like rolled me over and I feel like it doesn't really go both ways, but I didn't do like the worst either because my on stage presence is actually really good. And the fact that I have rising there and rising recovery just kind of tends to help. That's impossible to contest, by the way. Ah, oh, man. Okay, I actually took my time. And also, I should probably start dodging because taking that three piece was completely unnecessary. I've never gotten what even okay we're chilling Okay, I actually really don't want to mess this up. I'll play bow.
Ugh. Cannon's so chaotic, but I think we got it now because we have our map advantage. So now I can actually focus on maps that kind of help me specifically. And also I have to, do I have to be more careful because Wood Kid just like he he rushed he rushed every interaction. I didn't really take the time anyway. So I also had to reduce my fear in neutral, which I just talked about. I know you guys are gonna call me a sweat for this one, but you love me. Still not adjusted to the to the desig. Okay, let's try to prevent this stock from going as far as it can as soon as possible. God, not only did he almost read me, I just died. Okay. Okay, thank God, bro. 